Hey there, Heather, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond, welcoming you to the early 80s version of the match play tournament. Uh, whoever does not have a win under their belt in the in an early 80s tournament gets to compete to try to get a spot at Augusta, and the runner-up might get a second chance. Now, the early 80s is interesting. You have 11 winners. Henry Picard, George Burns, not the actor, Bobby Jones, Willie Anderson Jr., James Braid, Alan Robertson, Ted Ray, Old Tom Morris, Curtis Strange, Percy Alice, and Harley Cooper. So you got a lot of Scots and Brits in this whole thing, the early, because, you know, the early days were ruled by Scots and Brits, and not a lot of Americans. But we have 11 runners up. Payne Stewart, Harry Barton, Tom Watson, Kai LaFoon, Bobby Clampett, Alex Smith, not the NFLer, Jock Hutchinson, Johnny Farrell, Gil Morgan, Young Tom Morris, and Tom Kite. If you're a runner-up and you win your competition, you win your match, you win this tournament, then you you win a, a subsequent tournament, then your runner-up spot gets eliminated and for first place. And that actually helps in the runners-up cup. Because it means that you have a better chance to qualify for those six final spots as a runner-up. You want to win the tournament and obviously win a trip to Augusta. So yeah, so the list from Picard down to Cooper, those 11 guys are not in this tournament. There's 128 golfers out of 144, so 128 golfers will go start. We will do the Tom Kite matchup with Ken Green, only because Kite is the most recent runner-up. So we're going with Tom Kite, and we have no Canadians, so we'll start with Ken Green. Nicely done, like real number number six. Kite. He was featured in a um, towards catastrophe recently because of his birthday. Trying to take that second into a first. Ooh, spreading that bunker on the left. Kite. We will have bonus coverage of a few other matches coming up later on. Green. And here we go. Close for a pot. No, kite for the hole. Which will lead the water. Oh, he did he hit the water. Green, can he go? He stopped. It stopped at 275. It stopped just short. The Knowing that he has an extra shot to play with because Kite hits hard. Oops. Kite's falling, falling, falling. Both guys wearing glasses. For the ball, no. For both. Again, okay, power the whole week. On to the third. And we see the position. Tom Kite. What I have noticed, um, um, we're doing the runner-up cup for the uh, 60s, 2010s, and the 40s, 90s guys. Is that there is actually a a trend? February, both February runners-up uh, and their subsequent tours, both June runners-up. Both October runners up and both December runners up, uh, the runners up in the match play, have all qualified. So maybe it's a special one. The balance here, the name is the Harry Fordham, Alex Smith, Young Tom Morris, and whoever gets runner up in this tournament w would qualify. But, you know, numbers are made to be broken. This is for par. Do this. Kite for the hole. Onto the fourth. Kite. Oh, well, Kite avoids the bunker. That's okay. That's no harm. And so does Green. They both hit the bunker. It's better than going to the water. And back to Green. And now Kite. Kite. A little bit close to the pin. For pop. Oh, 
he missed. You go back to even in this match. The thing is, all four holes have been won by a golfer. Tomorrow will be a very interesting day because he's the world of the Fortnite in the shadow of the Argentina Croatia World Cup semifinals. Argentina with Leo Messi, this could be Leo Messi swan song nationally. Internationally, excuse me, Ma. And Croatia, well, they up in tough mother, you know what. They got to the final last time. Why can't they make the final this time? I mean, okay. So he now hey, he wants a putt for birdie. Oh he missed. Green with chance to win the hole. I think we are tied. And so it's the first time we'll see a sure hole. Let me read some stats for you for the Argentina Croatia game coming up in the tomorrow. Um, give you some insights. So this is the third time that Argentina and Croatia have met. They actually were in the same group in 98 and 2018. Argentina took it first. 0 in 1998. And in 2018, Croatia pushed Argentina to find powder. Oh, and green. But that water is up there. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Um, Argentina is coming up to the sixth World Cup final, which would make them second all time. So Argentina would be in their sixth World Cup final, which only Germany has done better with eight finals. I'm surprised that Argentina would be in more finals than Brazil. Well, how many finals has Brazil lost? One. Well, that can't be right. Better only for Germany. I think they tie Brazil. Because Brazil's won five, right? Because they won in 58, 62, 70, 94, and 02. So yeah, they won five times. Oh, what a shot by Green. What a fantastic shot by Ken Green. Kite will have to go for something. Oh! And that really Here's the funny thing. Uh, the stats say Argentina has never lost a semifinal. Whoa, that's a tremendous thing. Argentina, every time they make the semis, they make the final. So they've been to five semifinals. And subsequently, five finals. I know in 2014 they fell to Deutschland, which I'm happy because of my part German heritage. Anyway, Kate. Kate oh, no. Croatia is trying to become the fourth European nation to reach back-to-back -back finals. Um, Italy did in 34 and 38. They won both times. I think once, what was the one? 34 was the one at home and 38 was in France. Ooh, what a mess by Green. Kite for the hole. Whoa. Aye, aye. Holland went to 74 and 78 finals, but they both lost both. 74. They had total football and they fucked it up. And then 78, despite Cruyff retiring from the Blackbirds against his wife or whatever the story is, they got to the final and then Germany 82, 86, 90 had the three peak of getting to the finals. 82, they lost to Italy, which was probably really justice because of how Harold Schumacher, the German goalie, he really killed Pakistan. Nice shot by Green. He's probably going to tie her up. That only went two yards tight. Who's fucked? Yeah, 86, they lost to Argentina. And no matter that, it wasn't the goal scoring hero. I think he made an assist or something. Oh, oh, shot, but Green's just got two fights. Why two fights? Building the time and putting pulls, breathing tight. They're the second matchup of 64 of them. Anyway, green one, two, four, and nine, tight one, three, and six. So three holes for each and three ties. Croatia is potentially only the second 
if Croatia wins, they're the sec they will be the second side in history to knock out both Brazil and Argentina at the same World Cup. Because Germany did that. Well, yeah, Germany did that back to back against Brazil and Argentina. The semifinal, let's not forget that 7 1 shellacking. And. For Bird, For the hole. And it says Argentina has only won one of their last seven World Cup games against the European side. That's amazing. I didn't know that. That's a key stat. And two of the three draws for Pelly shoot up lost victories. Well, shoot up victory. Yeah, shoot up victories. But yeah. Uh, I'll just tell my buddy the key stat for Croatia is that key stat for Croatia is that they could do they could get both Brazil and Argentina in the World Cup. Take them out of knockout. And Argentina has never lost a semifinal. So I've got to make sure I write that down. Argentina has never lost a semifinal. Okay. I'll have to text them. Park. Hey, I gotta keep rolling. Bunker, that central bunker that's causing a lot of shit. So yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy because like like in Kitchen Waterloo, I mean, everyone's going Croatia crazy because our mayor, Barry Kukanovic, is a Croatian. He's half. So I'm trying to find a plate. Hold on. Probably gonna probably hear me in my keystrokes. Yeah, there's some key stats. I will pull out some key stats about the second semi final between France and Morocco. Well, the one key stat we all know about France and Morocco is that Morocco was in the French power for a while. Over the trees, does he avoid the water? Oh my gosh, he just did. Green is going to light up. That's a smart move. You Lay up. Because you have a one up lead up. Oh, it's not. Oh, it pulled back a little bit. Okay. Will Kite do the same thing? Oh, Kite's right at it. Kite is right at it. Green, this is a key birdie. But it puts it in with one in one chance. Wow, what a putt to keep his lead with five to go. Oh, you see, my aunt. I'm keeping an eyeball on the runners up and all that, making sure that. Oh, we have a winner. Willie Park Jr. takes out Donnie Hammond. So, Willie Park Jr. So, Park Jr. is in the legend. Donnie Hammond, and that's enough. 
right? Where you lift two balloons, and not have to pull with that water up. He has like a 50 50 chance of qualifying for this. Okay, we, the thing is, with the early 80s, they were the only um, tour that nobody had played from second to first place. Now, a lot of people are saying, hang on, what about the 60s tent? Well, yes, but they're the same. But Tommy Bolt went to back to one, two second place finishes. So, yeah, his, one of his spots was taken. To win the hole! Oh, green. And he can't come back with that putt. So take the win, and we are going to the 15th floor. Not it. With four to go. What about just going at the same time? Of course, obviously. So, kite. We'll keep an eyeball on okay. another matchup. And if they can match it, I don't know. Within the next, within the first three that haven't started, we'll set it up. Green. Really come close? Yeah, probably. Kite. Okay, kite. Okay. For Boyd. No, he's short. Kite for the hole. No! Can you go back to the party? Yes, I can. We have a hat and three more to go. We have a hat. Okay, on to 16. This hole is fucked. Oh, you will have to go into the egg drop soup somewhere. Oh, what a shot. Oh, but it turned back. But the good news is, at least he's clean. Why did you do that the first time, right? For the hole. Now he missed. I think he's safe. Yeah, that's a hard part for the hole. So if Ken Green can win on 17, it's over if he knocks out Tom Kite. Okay, on to 17. Can Ken Green do the impossible and knock out Tom Kite? Up and is he on the green in two? Yes, he is, but oh no. That's slow. That's slow. The fuck is that the slope? Kite. Oh, he might get slope too. Yes, he does. Shite. I mean, don't like to see that happening. Kite. Up and is close to the pin. Yes, he is. Let's go put the pressure on green for his pitch. And that was not a good pitch. I'll need this putt. And he missed. Ah, he missed. Why does it say I'll square through 18? This is the 17th hole. That's a mistake. We're going to the 18th hole tied. Or is that just some kind of thing? Yeah, green and kite. Wait, what about the matchup ahead of them? Oh no, that was Willie Park Jr., I guess. Big matchup. Because I'm like, the green is just in the top. Yeah, like, green. Get that area. Kites. Uh, kites. I don't know what he was thinking. I think he was thinking. Uh, kite, what were you thinking, man? You should have went to the right. Well, he's a. But I think he may be banking on Green's shaky putty. I think that's probably what he's thinking of for the match. And Green sends Tom Kite a limit. Kent sends Tom Kite out. We're all square after 18. That's a mistake because. Alright, so Kite is out. Of what? So Kite will have to play in the runner up thing. Options. Yeah, he will. Uh, all square after 16. All right, so that's it. Okay, so what? Okay, so we got who's yet to start? Fourth and Willie Smith. The fault on Nelson. Torrance and Lafoon. Oh, here we go. Lafoon has to. Lafoon. He'll face Sam Torrance. So we'll do Torrance versus Lafoon. 
Buffoon the Buffoon, as they call him. I don't call him that. Well, Buffoon took second in April. Mark McCumber beats Johnny Goodman, so Cucumber wins. Cucumber the Cucumber, I call him. Are we getting the Torrance and Buffoon? Probably. Oh, Jim Barnes beats Dave Graham, so England beats Australia. I gotta look at the clock. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Gary Cook beats Mark Y. Mark Y. Why did he get into this whole thing? Mark Y. That's a lie. And looks like we'll get to Torrance soon. Oh, Emmett French crushes John Golden 7 and 5. Emmett French did pretty good. I think a couple of times he was close, to, he was actually featured in the strip play. So, yeah. Oh, Andre Boomer beats Doug Tool. So, Aubrey Bo Boomer. Aubrey is actually the name of my cousin Tim's son, who's now a week old. So, Aubrey. Kind of weird. Alright, now we got Torrance versus Lapu. Match for two. I think we're playing one more match after this. So we're looking at the limit runners up. We've already seen two runners up. This is we've already seen one runner up fuck up. And uh, well Lafoon's that's the second one. Lafoon, is he on the green? No, he won't. Ronald Melbourne is really known for its fuckery. Turns up and turns on to spin the ball towards the thing. Lafoon trying to spin himself. For pop. No, he missed. Okay. Uh, Alex Campbell beats Lenny Watkins. Willie Park Sr. beats Andrew Strafe. Andrew Strafe looks like an 1860s politician with that thing. So Willie Park Sr. won. I know Willie Park Jr. won. Yeah, Park Jr. won. So the Parks... Both of them. Uh-oh. Too much? Yes, sir. Lafoon trying to keep it low. That's not a bad idea. Knowing he'll have an extra stroke to play with. Because Torrance hit the water. Oh. Okay. Okay, River Bank. That's okay. Torrance. Like the two really parts of the game. Lafoon. Uh-oh. I think Lafoon's not from the 80s. Well, it doesn't really matter. For Pac. Oh, oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me. Not good for the hole. You can't, so Torrance jumps up to a one up lead. Any other matchups we have to keep our eyeballs on? Nope. No results. So Torrance on the third. Oh, that's left. That's near that mushroom cloud. The mushroom I thought it was mushroom. Why? Up and nope. The wind is gonna fuck you up and make you take notes. Anyway, there's Torrance. And Torrance, and Torrance. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Will the do the same thing? I think he will. I think they're tied. Huh? Oh, you miss a four footer. You had a 1 in 9 chance of fucking it up and you fucked it up. The boom is tied her up. Ooh, baby. How you gonna miss a former But Greg Stadler beats Joe Kirkwood, so the Walrus wins. Horton Smith beats David Frost. Horton Smith, the first ever Masters winner, if that just be right, so he beats David Frost. And that would be a top soup. Oh man, I was headed to the right side. I don't wonder what's on the right hand side. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, Tim Torrance is going to be happy with a shot because he doesn't need to put in the egg drop soup zone. The food on the other hand. Boak. No. Torrance. Oh, no, but he's close. No, he's got the wall. He's going to All right, so that's all. We've got for that, so I'm going to get it. Five. So we 
reveal. So two of the 11 um, finalists, well, Lafoon, we've seen. Lafoon and Kite. I don't know about the other guys. Yeah, if they have a chance. Because they have a chance to be featured features because, you know, they're going to try to move up. Sorry, right, that was a terrible shot. What the hell were you thinking, man? What were you thinking? I so Lafoon could win the hole. But he doesn't. That's good for Tarn. Into hole number six. All right, and nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing next. Go, go, go. You're not next. You're next. You're next. All right. Hit shot for Torrance. I'll take it. The food. Oh boy. That's it. Let it spin. Let it spin on that shot. The food. Can't spin it. So Torrance has a two up lead. The food's really bad. Extra holes between Kenny Knox and Danny Shute. Aoki beats J.H. Taylor, so Ni Hong's got one of their guys in, which is great. Any shoot. Yeah, I think he was challenging, but he didn't get the final two. So, Aoki-san. Or Japan, baby. Oh, oh, he hit the back bunker. Torrance. Meanwhile, the food. Uh, Reese Green. So, they hit that bunker. What about that? Should I Set yourself up. Love the day. But I think Torrance is the same crap. I think I'm going to say shot. Anyway, we've gone into the top seven. Uh, Joe Tunisa beats Gil Morgan. Not good. Tunisa winning. So Gil Morgan, who was runner up in. Morgan, who was winner, runner up in September in Toronto, gets Curtis Strange, will not make it through. So he'll have to. Go through the runner up cup for sure, sees. Look, they both hit bunkers. Lafoon hit his way back. You might as well gamble. Yeah, you might as well gamble. I mean, like, fuck. You gotta try. You gotta try. For strategy wise. Torrance up by two. Oh, that wasn't good. That just barely made it past. Meanwhile, Torrance at least pulled it Good one. For the For the hole! No. So I think they're tied. So they're tied with her. Torrance is up by two. On the nine. Oh, Kenny Knox wins the playoff against shoot. Alex Smith loses to John Ball. Remember? So England beats Scotland. Ball beat Smith. Ball beat Smith. La, la, la. Not good for Swift. He's the third finalist to lose. Second place team to lose. So now Smith has to go through that playoff. Um, uh, no, Smith lost the June matchup to Ellen Robertson. That was when Robertson, for some reason, got a 59. And I wasn't playing for Robertson, who's 59. So because he had a sub-60 round, he only went in the tournament for one round. And Smith ended up winning the tournament. Oh, slow down! Fucker! For par. Yeah! For bogey. Torrance is pushing the food in the back tower. He's up by three. Added to the back nine. Oh, Rex Caldwell beats Bruce Litsky. I really don't like Caldwell's pitcher. I mean, why would you have a cigarette in your mouth? Spit it out. But the cigarette's helping Caldwell cope, and he's beating Litsky. So he's going in. The food puts his own food in. And it's. Shorter distance, but hey. 
Better hang on! That's why. That's why. Daniel Torrance. Really the matchup. So Torrance has won on two, four, six, nine. That is divine. And LaFoon's won the third hole. So he has almost two, four, six, eight. For Boyd! Oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah. For the hole. What a miss. What a miss. Oh, Dennis Watson beats Tommy Armour. Armour hot dogs. I know the Simpsons saying about that one. Tommy Armour. Armour hot dogs. Up and... Torrance, that was horrible. The wind got his shot. And the wind got that shot. From the extreme right to the extreme left. I know that's kind of a poor tasting. But I'm telling you like it is. It's not going to be motivated. It's just that you know, his shot went to the extreme right and the extreme left. LaFoon wins the hole. He's down by two with seven to go. Any other highlight? Any other match? Oops, Jack Renner beats Paul Runyon. Not Paul Bunyan, Paul Runyon. Willie Smith beats Jim Thorpe, 6 and 4. So, Thorpe wasn't a good referee. Yeah. So, not good for. Um, not good for Bunyan. Bunyan. So, Jim Thorpe is out of luck. Torrance? Well, the middle of 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 the the Oh, oh, my this is a comeback, baby. This is a comeback, baby. This is a big comeback. Just cut it to one. Are we going to see a comeback to three down? I know that. I know John Wrong. He was up by three in his second round matchup. The guy who was. Yep, you can't do that. Because you're going over the trees and you're going to fuck it up. So Torrance is going to do the smart thing and lay up. And so will LaFoon, too. He'll lay up. I think LaFoon's in a better spot. I think Torrance is in a bad spot. Uh-oh. He had to. Wow, LaFoon. This is unbelievable. Match isn't over yet. Curl, curl, curl. For the hole? No. For bogey. He missed. Good chance. So the three goes to three down, now to tie it with five holes left. Can you believe it? In three holes, he does make the lead. Now into 14. Sam Torrance. Up and over. Well, alright, he dragged it back a little bit. Could have been worse. Sam Torrance, really dragged back. This is for Birdie. No. For the hole. Birdie's on 14. He's won four straight holes. He's got the lead now with four to go. Wow, we've seen a collapse. The proportions. Bobby Watkins and Bill Melhorn are going to extra holes. And that's the only one I've match. I've always dealt with three runners up. Three, got three of those 11 runners up. Buffoon is still in. Oh, is he in the third? He's kind of on the rough. Up and over. Oh, 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 o
in the space of five holes, LeFou goes from three down to being up by two. He's got three holes left. He's almost got this one. Yeah, he's almost got this one. Uh, he's safe because he's on the rocks. No, he's not. Whew. And he made the rocks. He made the pass. Oh, got the rocks in. Into the egg drop soup zone. I think that's it. And a shot by Torrance. That would have been amazing if he had put that one in. The boom. This close. I, think, I think it's over. It is over. I the boom with a great win there. He's still around. The food's still around. Can you believe this match? Oh, they're going to force me to. What a match. See, Torrance, he was up by three, and then they part on ten, and then, holy crow. It's just amazing. LaFoon won the last six holes in a row. Torrance choked a three-up lead. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so you have to start. Kane Stewart. Well, he's the January runner up. He will face Arnaud Moissy. So, US France. You don't really see a French golfer. John Benneville was not in the 90s package for a good reason. Are we going to see any um, finishes before we get. Well, Melhorn won the playoff against Watkins, so. Rafalta and Nelson are going to extra holes. Har Sir Garner beats Al Espinoza. So a lot of these guys. Okay. So on to group 36, Stewart and Massey. Payne Stewart, who was runner up to the play in January. He will be Massey. So we've got four of the 11 runner-up guys. Runner up guys. One, only LaFoon has won. Three, others have fallen on the side. Massey. Okay, good. Massey. Oh, hey. That was close. Let's see what Pain can do. Massey. Okay. Pain, that's okay. Thanks today. Ed Fiore beats Kirk Lady, so there's one. Joy Sindelar beats Chick Evans. Joy Sindelar with the win. Payne Stewart, will it stay dry? He'll stay dry. Massey! Oh, will he stay dry? I think he will. Yes, they do. They both survive. Up and... So... Pain? Is it close? All of these things. For a body. Oh. For the hole. Ay, ay. Massey, oh my goodness. He missed. Two. Oh. Pain Stewart. One for two. Okay, on to the third. Stewart. Okay, Massey. Now the other side. Is that a shot? Pain is he on the Oh, yeah, he can say the first one, as we call it. Massey. I think he'll pitch it. The pitch, and he is close to the bag. For the hole. No. For par. Yes. Massey for close up. He's still still up and running. Who is the way to go more? The pitch. Okay, nothing to say, eh? Alright, on to the fourth. Oh, is he safe? Yes, he is. Pain not only doesn't hit the water, he hits the pair to the green. Massey! Oh, and he's pinned it a little bit. Pin away. 
Pull away. No. Stuart Miss. Massey. No. No. Would you Larry Nelson wins his playoff of Revolta. So Larry Nelson wins. Not the guy from I Do a Genie. I gotta say that. Right here, right now. Hey, Stuart. He wants to win. He wants to win. He should win. I see. Okay, that's great. They're down the middle. They're not clapping because they're thinking, oh, well, why should we clap over a 348-yard putt on dry? We should. Ain, he'll light up. He'll be 56 back. Masi, will we win for the two? Yes, he will. He's pretty close. Now the question on my mind is, how much urgency do you put? I don't think you do. We need to go put. I'm going to lag it. Yeah, I would lag it because Stuart's got a tough birdie play. Well, that was a smart strategy on my scene, and we are in daily play. Put sink. Francis O'Mac, the ledger, being Larry Mize, two up. Jose Maria Canceles beating Tony Sills, three and one. Sandy Hurd beats Jack White, four and two. So, yeah, Larry Mize, the legend of the 1987 Masters of the Day, that famous Chocolate Beach Boy who Ended up being in the 90s, to the 10th of the 80s, and then more than the JP Facebook in the 1980s. I see. Mm, well, he's on the fairway. I mean, the green, excuse me. Pain. And the pain. For the soul. No. Stuart. Oh, okay. okay. Stuart's now one up. CCM Etange. On to seven. And is he going to hit that bunker? No. He won't. Masi. Oh, oh, he shot it. But he doesn't hit that bunker. Stuart, a little close. Stuart, yeah, runs up against it. Masi, will he get close with his good shot? I think so. I think so. Yep. All right, for par. Young Tom Morris beating Mark James four and three. So Young Tom Morris, who took second in October, he's still <laughs> from second to first. Oh, that win! That went into the fine spot. I see. Nice again from that center. Stewart's gotta go for it. I think it's close. Let's see. My last scene's got an advantage because he didn't hit the water. I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. Let's going to do the smart thing and come very close. Well, a little too tight. Gets a wazzle and ties it. Walter Tom Travis beats Tommy Armour the third. So Walter Travis, the Australian. Tommy Armour the third. We saw Tommy Armour the first. Armour the third. Yeah, right. his family emigrated from Scotland to be here because we saw two Tommy Armours here. Now it. Now for next year, it's no guarantee that the early. Like the early years guys would be with the eighties guys is normal. What they're what they're planning on what they're planning on is saying that whoever wins Augusta, the the decade they come from So that that's one tour. Top, oh, that's a nasty she missed by Massey. And he missed back. Sure for the whole Spirits now one up to nine holes. Oh, these guys have actually been playing pretty good against each other. I think Stewart's won three, Massey's won two. You have Stewart's won two, six, nine, and then five and eight for Massey. One, two, three. Oh, off the tree and on the fairway. That's a weird way to get the ball in the fairway. But you know what? Oh, that's a nice drive. Such a drive for pain. 
pain. These are the pain that comes through practically dying in that plane crash at the height of his career. In 99, he won the USA Award for Nicholson. Robert. Are you far fucking real? Massey for the whole oh, This song, Egalite. Massey. So, yeah, I think Young Tom, yeah, Young Tom Morris, his match on day two will be televised. The revolution will be televised. Is gonna take it. At least Kane's got a decent chip on his third shot. Up and get close, get close. He will get to the clues. For the hole. What? That was a good. That's a card. That's the same thing. That is him. Saracen and Fuzzy Cell are going to extra holes. It was random. Yeah, it's random selection for the matchups. One of those guys will be out. Oh, he hit the middle bunker. Not good. That's not good. Ain't Stewart almost got out of that mess, but no. Okay, Saracen, you know, Chris, Double Eagle or Albatross and Night Fit Five at the Masters. Look at that shot. Alright, Ain't Stewart's got a better shot. Uh, Farden beats Scott Simpson, so big win for Harry Farden. That the only matchup, really, yeah. So Farden, who won the February tournament, I mean, who took second in February to George Burns, is still alive. So yeah, we got two. We got. Yeah, we're at three. No, four. Barden, no food. No, Young Tom Morris. And Payne Stewart, if he wins, we make four runners up in the round of in the round of which would be good. Can he go over the green? Uh oh. Well, that actually worked out for him. Payne's gonna do the honorable thing and just swip it around, swivel around. Like that. I know what he's doing. Does Massey? I think he might. Birdie. Overshot it by a lot. For the hole. The game's still is going to be through with five to go. So you got Harry Fard and make win for him. Extra holes for Gary Hallberg and Bob Eastwood. Craig Wood beats Mac O'Grady. Mac O'Grady looks like there's something in his mouth. Craig Wood looks like he's going to be. Okay. Hey, Stuart. And now my seat. on the fly and bounced it back. Birdie. No. He's got to hit this one. And he missed. My goodness. He had to hold it high. And pull it over. Great. That's not good for Massey. Any result? Well, Saracen takes down Fuzzy Seller, so the big Gigi the Dancing Machine, as I call him. He's going to Yeah, we're gonna do the young match. I don't know what matchup for the three. He's probably in my I think we'll probably just set up some match. I don't know what we're gonna do. Hey Stewart, Stuart up, Stuart, 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 Massey will not get, so Payne Stewart 
two up or three to play. Can he do it? Can the generator runner up get his chance to shine in the picture map? We gotta look at the clock. Oh, DA Werbing meets Ulan Dutra. 50. Oops, I got it back. I gotta go quickly. Uh, I'll just do a match in the if there's a runner up. Masi! Oh! Game set match! Masi Apadu! Paint Stewart Gagne! He doesn't do much. He has a paint Stewart with Masi. So paint's still in. It. So we got four runners up who are still kind of in. We are going to do the young Tom Morris in the second round. I'm going to buy myself with that. Okay, who's left that's still playing? Crenshaw and Reed, but Crenshaw was in a runner up. Langer and Cox. Bush was going on longer. Bean and Holbert. Andy Bean was in a runner up. Burke and Beck, about Seve and Dudley. Sandy Lyle wasn't a runner up, was he? No. Nope. Uh, Haas and Cole. Rogers and Fergus. Hutchinson. Okay, there's it. Anyway, Jock Hutchinson against 20 Monero. We'll be doing that matchup. Yeah, we'll do because Hutchinson took second place in July. So we'll do the Jock Hutchinson match and then that'll be it for the first round matches. All right, so there will be probably a few matches that will be done quickly. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hutchinson and Monero. Hutchinson was a runner up, so we will do the case match for us. Monero, I did that good. Hutchinson. Hutchinson and that'll be the last matchup and then you know after this we'll turn into the other matches. This is number match 45 of 64. Oh yeah, that's a bunker. That's a bunker. And oh yeah, that's a bunker. Hutchinson's got a chance. If he can just put pretty close. An arrow on the other hand. Can he come close? I say he does. An arrow. <laughs> Bob Eastwood beats Halberg in the um, thing. Ben Crenshaw beats Mike Reed, so Crenshaw's still in. The man who won the 95 Masters under stress because his swing coach, Harvey Panic had died that week. And Crenshaw couldn't do that. The second. <laughs> oh, that's left. That's not a good shot. Hutchinson's gonna go for oh. the trying to hit it over, over the water. An arrow. Oh. Oh. No, Hutchinson. Well, I think you're gonna have to really Hutchinson's gonna pop this oh. if he can. He does. Help the runner up guys go from 6 out of 11 to 6 out of 12. So the odds would be 64%. I know for sure that the 72,000 and all that, that's a tough one because when you look at the runners up, 3 of the 12 were 11 runners up so far. Have one came from second, but one turned this later on. So the chances of the are 6 out of 8. Or, well, at worst, 6 out of 9, so you have a 67% chance to win already. Because Nicholas Tiger and Weisskopf in the Golden Tiger League are the 72,000s guys. But from second to win the title, to win a match. Nicholas was runner up in January, but in February he won. Oh, 
I thought that was pretty cool. I can say, oh wow, botched it. So Monero's two up with nine to go. But you can't say Monero's going to easily win this one because I remember Sam Torrance was up by three with nine. Through the front nine and the food just went on a power trip. <laughs> Tiger took second in March, but won a spot in August, and Weisskopf was runner up in April, but he's won at Quill Hollow, so that means that he got a spot at Acousta. Acousta, Acousta. Acousta. Okay. No shot. Hodgson won on two, but he has not won a hole since. He's lost three and tied four. But boy, way up. Monero from five to win the hole, though. Hodgson! Monero is going to win. Jock Hodgson to the runner's up cup. Langer and Cox are going to extra holes. Man, I thought Brad Langer was going to win. Andy Bean beats him. Andy Bean beats Mike Hover two and one. Billy Burke beats Chip Back. Back becoming what was it, the second guy to hit a fifty nine in the PGA? After Al Geiberger? No. Yeah. Something bullshit like that. Rock Jock Hutchinson. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we'll keep our eyes on the young time. Oh boy. Hutchinson. Hutchinson, look at oh! <laughs> Alright, but Monero needs his putt. And he missed. So Hutchinson with that chip in will cut the deficit down to one. Seve beats. Seve beats Ed Dudley, 4-2, and two, and is that it? Yes, so Seve won his match. He's an icon. I hit the middle bunker, but Monero, he hits the middle bunker. Duh. Up and over. Monero time. Okay, Monero for par. No, sir. Hutchinson for the hole. Guys are up. So Hutchinson ain't done yet. Not over yet. And yes, Bernard Langer beats White Peacocks. Bill Blackmore, big upset over Sandy Lyle. So Blackmore winning. Three guys. Hold off for something. Oh, oh my gosh. My golly. How did he do that? How did Monero do that? Monero. Oh, he did that. I had it in. I was like, you got to be joking. Hutchinson's going to come close. I think putting the pressure on Monero. Oh, he missed. So Hutchinson does take the one up lead. Wow, that's the second time we've seen that. A guy really blow a front nine lead. Fuck. Oh come on, give me something good. So we saw something good. Thank you. So, I know this is not going to be that shit. Monero. Monero for the Next shot. Good. Hutchinson. Oh, fucking fucking freaking bunky. What? Monero. He had the chance to tie her up. Just tied. Monero. Four of us. Under the fifteenth. Please. 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 
Oh, here we go. Jay Haas with the win of Deadpool. Jay Haas with the win. I know Bill Haas was making a run. I believe in the second. Oh my gosh. Monero, all you had to do was play clean and maybe tie her up. Monero. Oh, that looked good at the start. For Bert. No, how did he miss? My narrow. Oh, wow, he had a chance to tie her up. He knocked it up. He knocked it up. When it was left, Dan Hutchinson put some of the pressure on Monero. I don't think Monero won on the back nine. No, I don't think so. Well, Bill Rogers beats Keith Fergus. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think Monero won on the whole. Oh, that shot by Hutchinson. Key shot there. Oh, I the box in the corner. No. Oh boy. Monero's like desperation time. I just said for the hole. Monero, turtle derby. And the top. And Monero has a million back nine. So, Hutchinson. Jody Mudd beating Kelvin Pete. Jody Mudd? Kevin Pete, not good for the minorities. I was hoping for Kevin Pete to win. Distant cousin of Rodney Pete, who was an icon in the NFL. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I don't know why I hit the fairway. Hutchinson. Do something. Alrighty. For the match. Right. For Bogey. Well, another chance to win the match for Hutchinson. And he didn't take advantage. So, Hutchinson, the good news with Jock is that all he needs to do is tie 18th to basically, to basically do what Monero does. Because if he does what Monero does, then he'll take his match. That's behind the tree. Well, Monero has to be. Monero, oh, all right. Take the gamble. Oh, it is. on the green in two. Monero is going to close, but you know Hutchinson just has to tie it for the match. Nope, he missed. Right over part. He missed. Hutchinson for the match. Got it. Drop Hutchinson. Good for him. He still remains. Another finalist. Another finalist with a check mark. So that is five of them? Yep. Five out of eleven. Hmm. Well, five out of eleven. Tom Watson, we don't know what his fate is. Bobby Clampett, we don't know his fate. And Johnny Farrell, we don't know his fate. So we have three guys. Well, we are gonna actually tee off till the end of time to the end. Mac Max Smith beats Mike Donald. Now there's three runners up. We don't know the fates up. We know five are in. Smith. Tony Smith. Tony Smith. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on. Dave Rummels beating Peter Jacobson, the great commentator. Dave Rummels. Who the frig is him? Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on the young Tom Morris match. Willie Campbell beats Willie McFarland, the Battle of the Willies. Why are you laughing? Okay. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, 
Well, Ferguson time Freddie McLeod. Bob Ferguson, a.k.a. Eddie Dyke. Jimmy Adams beats Jim Osaki. Darn it! Japan was one, is one out of two. Fuck. Ayuki-san. Make. Osaki-san. Did I say Ayuki-san? Sorry. Bob Ferguson loses. Nice job, Eddie Geik. You lost your match. I bet you'll be sour on Bushin Underground tomorrow. Uh, well, good news for Japan. Tommy Nakajima, the third Japanese golfer, beats Harold Hilton. So Nakajima san Kaji! So two Japanese golfers are in. Harold uh, Hilton. Bit by the Japanese buzzards. Okay, so I knew there was a one. Cotton loses to Leo Dago. Looks like Smokey the freaking bear. We don't need Smokey the bear. We don't need him in golf. Smokey the bear. Smokey the bear. Tom Watson crushes Donnie Everton to find powder. So Watson's in. So that you have six. Of the 11 runners up still around with still Clampett and Farrell to keep an eyeball on. So, wow, this could be amazing. We could see eight runners up. Bobby Krushank shocked by Ralph Goodall. I thought Krushank was going to win. Mike Brady losing to John Fought. You know, that's not Robert Reed. John Fought? Well, he fought him and won. Jamie Anderson beating Blaine McAllister. Jamie McAllister. All right, uh, Travers and Mike Sullivan going to extra holes, but I don't know who I want to drift for. Uh, Johnny McDermott and Don, Don Pooley going to extra holes. McDermott is not one of the runners up. I have to keep my eyeballs on. And Pooley. Uh, Travers beats Sullivan to move on to the... Um, Second round. Next is Johnny Farrell being how sudden. So Farrell is still there. So that's seven finalists out of ten. Smith, Morgan, and Kite are out. Bobby Clampett, can he make it eight finalists? That'd be great to see eight finalists. Jeremy Thompson with the win over George Duncan. We could see eight finalists. Eight of the 11 runners up, move on. Well, we know seven are moving on to the second round. It's going to be a mess. John McDermott loses to Don Pooley. Big win for Pooley in his career. Clampett's going extra holes with Walter Hagen. Ooh, I don't know if Clampett can do it against Walter Hagen. Hagen is a legend, after all. But he did. He beat Walter Hagen. That's, that's amazing. So we have eight of the 11 runners up one their second round for first round matches. Boy oh boy. So we have Morgan, Kite, and Smith who will be forced to the run up for mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Willie Fernie and Bob Dilder going to um extra holes. And then the last matchup. Well no, Willie and Levi beat Alf Pageant, so Levi wins. Willie Fernie wins, is that it? That is it. All right, so we got to the round 64. So the young Tom Morris matches against Walter Travis, number 15. Uh, we are going to probably... Craig Campbell, Willie Park Sr. against Emmett French. The Lafoon, I think, was the first finals. Uh, we are going to go with Willie Park Jr. versus Ken Green. Oh, no, sorry. Because Ken Green, we already did the first matchup. So Ken Green, no. We can't do back-to-back -back first round. But who else? Well, we'll do Willie Park Sr. versus Emmett French. And then we'll join the Walter Travis Young Tom Morris match. And then uh, let's go with... Let's go with... Um, we can't do Jack Hutchinson. Tom Watson versus Bobby Clampett. Oh, wow. Watson and Clampett. 
two final two runners up have to face each other. So Watson and Clampett. Uh I'm gonna go with Crenshaw for okay. And then the third match and then another matchup would be Crenshaw versus Liner. Okay, so we'll so I set up the four matches that I want to see. So as I said, eight of the eleven runners up are in the second round. Not bad. Eight out of thirty eight out of sixty four. So you have one eight chance of seeing that. And we know Watson and Clampett will face each other, so you know what to do. Fight. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.